Hi, I'm Rob from Tuning Social LinkedIn Ads Agency and welcome to this week's CXL feed. So in this week's CXL feed, I'm going to speak to you about a resource that I use to research LinkedIn ads to get inspiration for my clients and basically just to know what's trending and what people are doing with their LinkedIn ads. This is called the LinkedIn ads library. In this session, we're going to look through how to use the LinkedIn ads library how to use some of the filtering within the LinkedIn ads library to see things like location targeting and also then to use some parameters to be able to see different types of ads and to see different types of offers that maybe some of your your competitors or some advertisers that you admire are using. So first things first, let's take a look into how to get to the LinkedIn ads library. So you go to linkedin.com forward slash ad dash library. Once you get there, it'll bring you to this screen and you'll have a couple of different options of how to use it. So the first is to put in a company or advertiser name. The second is to search by a keyword. And then you have a couple of filtering options for country and also for date range, where you can see different countries here and you can see different date ranges here. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is basically how to use the company filtering. So if you search for Salesforce, without using any other filtering, you're gonna get a list of all of Salesforce's ads globally. You can see that Salesforce have in total 13,772 ads, so nearly 14,000 ads. So they're doing a lot on LinkedIn ads. So this is your first point of intelligence, I suppose. This is the first point where you can see, is this company using LinkedIn ads and are they successful with LinkedIn ads? If they're using a lot of LinkedIn ads, that means they're probably pretty successful with it. So now you can scroll down and you can see that LinkedIn are using static ads, they're using some dynamic ads, they're doing webinars in different countries, lots of different things. And you can scroll and scroll and scroll and get lots of different inspiration from Salesforce's ads. So you can do this with multiple different companies. So one really clever filtering option is that you can actually choose the country. So if you want to see what Salesforce are doing in a specific country, so if you're a marketing team based in a specific country and you want to see what Salesforce are doing, are doing if they're your competitor, for example, you somewhere like Spain and you can search and see basically what ads Salesforce are using in Spain. You can also see if they're doing localized targeting, localized language and many different things that can give you an insight into what their strategy is. So I'm just gonna remove that for now and I want us to look at something else. So if we research for Salesforce again without using any company filtering, now we can see the ads and now we can also click through. If you click through on a specific ad, you can see a little bit more details around what countries they're targeting in and it gives you a little bit of detail around some of the targeting options, but not a whole lot. So you can basically see that they're including and excluding, but it doesn't really give you an insight into what. However, what you can really use here is the landing page research. So essentially with the LinkedIn ads library, you're allowed to click through to all of the different landing pages where you can see how they've structured their landing page, what they're saying in it, what CTAs they're using, and also then the UTM or the link tracking they're using, where again, that will give you a little bit more detail around what this campaign is being used for. So as well as being an ads library, it's very useful tool to be basically be able to see kind of the whole process. So what people are doing in their ads, what landing pages they're using, and also what tracking parameters they're using as well. So there's multiple different things you can use this for. So I wanna go back a little bit into the LinkedIn ads library itself and show you some of the other things that you can do apart from seeing localized content, apart from seeing content and, and creative, the landing pages of the content creative and apart from seeing the tracking parameters. If you use some of the parameters within LinkedIn ads library, you can also get specific types of ads. So in dynamic ads and in text ads, you can use dynamic parameters. So essentially a dynamic parameter is a first name or a company name, which will drag the data from that person's profile into the ad. So it will say, if someone targets me, it will say, hey, Rob from Tune Social LinkedIn Ads Agency, this is our product, or this is what we want to talk to you about. So if you use that parameter, so hey, first name or hi, first name, you're going to see some dynamic ads, you're going to see some message ads, which can give you ideas for what the copy of your message ads should be. Also within that, you can put a 
company. So for example, let's see if Salesforce are doing any message ads or dynamic ads. And the answer is yes, they're doing some message ads. They're using some Salesforce as the sender of some message ads, but they're also using people. They're doing some dynamic ads. So Salesforce are kind of are kind of doing it all. So this is a really useful way to see what types of products people are using and also get some inspiration as to the copy they're using. And if you see some really good copy, you can take it as inspiration to use in your own ads or use parts of it to structure your own ads. The last thing that's really useful is you can see by you know, by call to action or by some of the copy what people are doing in their ads. So for example, if I remove Salesforce and just search for download, you can then see people that are, you know, promoting eBooks or they're promoting reports and you can see how they're promoting them and what they're using to promote them. Also, if you choose something like demo, you can see people that are pushing towards demo requests. So there's multiple different ways you can use this ad library to find out the insights that you need, whether it's from competitors, whether it's from advertisers you admire, or whether it's just from the proposition. You know, if you're just searching for different ways that you can use different propositions to promote assets from your business or to promote your product from your business. So my advice to you would be go dig into the LinkedIn ads library. First of all, look at what your competitors are doing, see where they're doing it, look at their landing pages, see what they're doing well that maybe you're missing the mark or see what they're doing and you can do better. And then also, you know, look at some of the inspiration. Look at some companies that you really admire that maybe you've been advertised to and kind of see through the LinkedIn ads library to see what they're strategy is behind it all you know what ads align with each other what ads are being used in certain countries and which ones aren't so that's my task to you go make a list of you know eight to ten competitors and advertisers you admire and build yourself a swipe file that you can use for inspiration when you're building your creative strategy with linkedin ads that's all for this week thanks a lot and looking forward to seeing you in the next cxl feed